configuring static NAT we can check the configuration show IP NAT translation it will display the active translations here we can see in this diagram it will clearly explain the static NAT so this is an local area network that is an private IP address this is a global network so here we can use the private range 10.1.1.2 so in this router we can configure static NAT so go to that router global mode here we can give IP space NAT space this is a local area network so here we can give inside so inside source then we can use the static name so here we can use the keyword static then we can mention the public IP sorry private IP address private IP address is 10.1.1.2 next it can be translated into public IP address 192.168.1.2 so this is an public IP address so then we can mention IP NAT inside and outside this is an inside go to that particular interface E0 then we can give IP NAT inside then go to that this particular interface serial 0 then give IP NAT outside so when the packet 10.1.1.2 that packet can be received this router so after receiving this router it can check the NAT table so here we can see if 10.1.1.2 means it automatically translated into 192.168.1.2 so this packet can pass us through this router means it automatically changes into 192.168.1.2 so passes through the public network so here we can see so IP space NAT space translation we can check the NAT configuration this is an inside local that means in local area network we can use the IP private range as 10.1.1.2 in outside in inside global means it automatically translated into 192.168.1.2 configuring and verifying dynamic NAT translation so in dynamic NAT translation the syntax for configuring dynamic NAT translation so in dynamic NAT translation first of all we can go to the router global mode here we can give IP space NAT space pool here we can give pool next then we can give the pool name then we can mention the starting IP and ending IP so starting IP and ending IP then we can give the netmask keyword and give the netmask value so it defines the pool of global IP address to be allocated as needed so if we can create the pool means in the group of IP address the private IP address can be automatically translated into that particular group so here we can give the 10 IP address in this group means so that private IP address automatically translated into that public IP address in that group next in dynamic NAT we can use the access list here we can use only the standard access list to permit which network can be translated so the syntax for creating access list access list space access list number then we can give the permit then source source network and source wildcard mask it defines the standard IP access control list permitting those inside local address that are to be translated next we can give the in global mode we can implement this both statement to create an dynamic NAT so IP space NAT space inside then we can give the source afterwards we can give list then what access list number we can give in this statement so that number can be given here access list number then we can give the pool then what pool name we can give in this statement so that name can be mentioned in this statement so it established the dynamic source translations so after configuring this we can check it out the dynamic NAT translations in the privilege mode we can give show space IP space NAT translations it displays the active translations let's we can see in this example this is an private network this is an organization network this organization can be communicate with the internet so first of all in this organization we can use the private IP address this is an 192.168.1.100 and 192.168.1.101 so both are private address of class C range so in this router we can configure the dynamic NAT so first of all we can create the pool so IP space NAT space pool next we can give the pool name net iPhone 208 it is a pool name then we can give the starting IP and ending IP so 209 to 222 totally 14 IP address then we can give the net mask then 255.255.255.240 net mask value 
okay next afterwards we can create the access list standard access list which network to be permit to translate so 192.168.1.0 next is 0.0.0.255 .0 so 192.168.1.0 network can be permitted to translate then we can give the dynamic NAT IP space NAT space inside space source next we can give the access list a list then what access list number we can mention in this statement one so that number can be mentioned in this statement next we can give the pool pool name here we can use the pool name net iphone 208 so here we can give net iphone 208 so after creating this we can check it out in router privilege mode show ip net translation so inside local IP address that means 192.168.1.100 and 1.101 it automatically translated into 209 and 210 so 209 and 20 so 210 it can be comes under this group so in this group only that private IP address can be translated into public IP address overloading and inside global address okay in this diagram we can see this is an inside network this is an inside network and this is an outside network in inside network 